Hi, how's it going? This is a show about all sorts of people that have regular everyday jobs and have extraordinary extracurricular activities. This particular show is going to be about a man named Lee Johnson who all his life has been building houses for people as a carpenter and now he spends his extra free time painting wildlife. Go ahead, take a look. Well, in Minnesota, I uh, uh, got interested in carpenter work uh, while I was going to school in industrial education there, and uh, uh, worked in the in the shop in school. Uh, I like shop work, uh, working with wood. Uh, a lot of the uh, students that uh, were in my class kept telling me that I should uh, be the instructor instead of the instructor we had. Uh, that kind of encouraged me a little bit. Later on, uh, towards uh, my senior year, uh, I went to work for a uh, uh, carpenter. Uh, he was uh, an old timer who uh, taught me everything he knew. Got out of high school, I went to work for him for about a year, and then uh, I decided to uh, go on my own and started doing some remodeling, uh, uh, small jobs mostly. The first painting I did was just a scenery painting, and then I got thinking about wildlife. So I, uh, I started with wildlife, and uh, over the years, since I was 11, 10, 11 years old, I'd been fishing and hunting, and I got a lot of uh, ideas from watching wildlife and uh, went into it uh, full time. And I took my, my paintings and made prints of them and started selling prints. And we'd go to street fairs and, and uh, things like that, set up a booth and sell prints. And uh, it wasn't profitable, but it was enjoyable. When we lived uh, in Texas for the nine years, uh, our daughter was real small, and uh, I painted her bedroom, the, the, all the walls in the bedroom all the way around uh, of Disney characters with Bambi and the owl and, and uh, uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and uh, uh, Snow White was dancing with Doc and, and uh, uh, Sneezy was playing the fiddle and it, it just surrounded the room. When I was in, uh, in uh, Washington, uh, our daughter had a room, or our grandson was staying with us and he had a room. So I painted uh, on his wall Above his bed, I painted uh, uh, Peter Pan, uh, the ship with Captain Hook on it. I'm looking more for just the uh, illusion. When you look at the picture, it looks like for uh, it looks like real trees. A fellow that was a landscaper that I did a lot of work for. Uh, trellises, decks, things like that. Uh, he uh, uh, wanted me to do some paintings on his uh, building, so I did a eight eight by eight uh, sign uh, to put on his buildings for his antique cars. And uh, it one was a uh, 1929 Rolls Royce. Uh, 
uh, with a big eagle carrying it across Puget Sound. Uh, that's what he wanted, so that's what he got. Well, then, uh, then he had a uh, 1938 Packard, and he wanted me to paint that to even up the signs on his building. So uh, I painted another eight by eight picture of the Packard sitting on the shoreline of the Puget Sound with the uh, orca whales jumping in the background. And then he bought a little farm there uh, that he restored. And the well house was out by the road and he was putting up a white picket fence or a white fence around it so it looked like a, uh, a horse raising ranch. And he had me paint a big sign on the side of the, or a picture, mural, on the side of the building of uh, a couple of horses out in the pasture with the white fence around it. In Maple Valley, where I first started building houses up there, there was a friend of ours that uh, uh, had a house built there. And he was uh, uh, into politics pretty heavy. Uh, he had a lot of friends in the Capitol building. And he bought a few of my prints. And he decided he'd uh, promote me a little bit. And he talked to some people in the Capitol and uh, they had all my paintings displayed for three months in the uh, legislative building in the Capitol building. So uh, this was pretty nice. Every painting I've done with uh, animals in it, the eyes seem to, uh, to draw the attention of the viewer. Uh, to get the expression and things uh, from the picture. Uh, uh, one I did uh, of a wolf's face, just the eyes and the face of a wolf. A bunch of the artists uh, up and down the West Coast decided to uh, print a book uh, called Artists of the West. I was kind of surprised because they called me and said, your picture of your eyes of the wolf is going to be on the cover. I did some uh, stained glass work. I made a beautiful picture of a bear uh, in the popple trees. And uh, then uh, I did sandblasting on uh, mirrors. Uh, I did a big uh, mirror for my wife with uh, two uh, lovebird owls sitting on a branch and on the end of the branch there was three baby owls uh, and uh, they all had different expressions. Uh, I did one mirror with a uh, mallard duck on it. On this painting uh, I've got the scenery done. Now on this ridge I plan on putting a large uh, mule deer uh, in this area on top of the ridge. Then down below in this area, in the distance, will be a cow. Uh, composition uh, is to balance the picture. Uh, not necessarily have something in the center, but <clears throat> working towards the center. I could put down below the ridge a fox that neither the buck or the doe can see. Uh, and uh, so they're not afraid. They're in their natural habitat. I, I did enter into the uh, state and federal duck stamp uh, competition. Uh, I got recognized in uh, uh, in those, but uh, I was a ways away from first place, uh, which I kind of regretted. I, 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 I didn't do it again, uh, but uh, uh, it would be interesting to try it one more time.